Hey Lions, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi the Leo and today we are doing another pick a card and this pick a card is to do with a connection that you may have right now, whether it's an ex or a bit of a complicated situationship or a relationship where you might not know where you stand. Uh, we are going to be looking at the general energy in this connection and what is really going on with your person to give you guys some clarity if you feel a little bit confused confused about your situation right now so in front guys i have four oracle cards for you guys to choose from so from left to right this pile one two three and four um so do whatever you guys need to do to get in the zone as usual the timestamps are going to be in the comment section and in the description box below so See which pile you are intuitively drawn to, and I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, pile number one, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at your situation right now and what is going on in the connection between you and your person. So I'm going to start on the left with your tarot cards and then we'll move on to the right with your oracle cards. So to start off guys, we have the tower, the ace of swords, we have the five of swords reversed, the seven of swords, the ace of pentacles, the six of swords, the king of wands and the page of cups. And the back of the deck guys, we have the chariot. So straight off, I wanna say when I was shuffling these cards, the energy that I was actually picking up on is this is a very fated connection, like this connection was supposed to happen. Um, the universe really aligned you to this person for a specific reason, but there's this underlying energy of um, wounding, an underlying energy of triggers um, being hit, insecurities being hit, past, wounds from past lives or childhood being hit you know what i mean so with that being said um from my own knowledge when that happens the person that we are inquiring about or have these type of situations with we usually feel like there's a very intense um deep attraction to them or something that you can't quite put your finger on it's a very um it's a very intense energy, you know what I mean? So that might be the case for you guys. But going into this energy with the Tower and the Ace of Swords, I really do feel like recently there was a Tower moment in you and your person's connection or within um, both of yours, like, mentality towards this connection. Like, the energy in this connection hit, like, a tower moment where everything kind of burst out. I don't know whether there was some type of argument. Maybe one of you peeped something that you didn't like. Maybe one of you asserted a boundary. But the way that it's coming through here, Spirit is showing me a two wounds hitting each other. You know what I mean? Two wounds hitting each other. So, for example, let me just show you guys an example. There could be somebody that... um didn't have a lot of love within childhood so it feels the need to overcompensate with people and then that's hitting the wound on the other person um or the other person needs a lot of attention from somebody um to have that insecurity because they didn't have it from childhood so there's that type of energy here where there's two wounds hitting each other right now but the reason that it fell down spirit is saying the reason that this came to a climax shall we say is for your greater purpose because it was to bring you clarity and that was clarity of self i hope you understand what i'm saying here when we go through situations where they trigger us or we go through situations where people may not honor us as the people we are or they may not treat us in the way that we'd like to be treated that makes us turn inward to see what is going on and deal with these feelings and then find that inner clarity within ourselves because we're not going to get clarity or feel loved and fulfilled fully by other people if we don't find it within ourselves and i feel like this connection was fated to have you look within and find that clarity within yourself okay because what i'm actually picking up here is this situation wasn't built on firm foundations or solid foundations this foundation was built on somewhat spirit is saying an illusion of some sort so i don't know whether um you guys would speak over text a lot and not maybe see a lot of each other in person or somebody may have not been their full self i feel this is more your person they wouldn't have um 
it's not in a sneaky way it's more out of a insecurity i've got to big myself up you know what i mean it's that type of energy but whatever the case this certain situation i'm the spirit are telling me to call it a situation rather than a you know full-blown relationship for some of you guys it might be but spirit are saying it more as like a situation like an almost you know that ariana grande song oh my god you know what? You, you guys are gonna hate me because i reference her music all the time i don't know whether it's because i listen to her so much to spirit use her songs or maybe i just am an ariana grande stan and i need to kind of come clean to myself but they're showing me the ariana grande song almost is never enough i don't know whether you guys have heard that like this feels like a false start that almost happened but then it crashed and i feel like you guys may be beating yourself up about it but this needed to fall down in order for you to have a fresh perspective because i'm hearing that when you both met each other wherever that may have been whether it was a year years like a year ago or two years ago or three years ago um when you did meet each other you weren't in the best place is whether one of you was coming out of a relationship and one of you was dealing with inner wounds one of you was going through something you both met i wouldn't say in a low vibration but you both met at a point where you had a lot of wounds that kind of mirrored each other and that's what that you two were drawn together for you know what i mean to be mirrors to each other because that's what i'm picking up you're mirroring each other's insecurity and pain back towards each other you know what i mean and i don't feel um, if I, when I say this guys, just remember you will know about this before I, um, say it. So I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but I feel like this person, especially towards the beginning, um, wasn't, you know, like I said, doing what they should do to honor you. Like that's the energy coming through here. Like they weren't, um, they were thinking of the best interest of themselves and what could fill them up rather than you and the thing is about a relationship a true healthy relationship it's about two people you know what i mean it's about um you giving and receiving the same amount and i just don't feel like this person was doing that a lot but i'm also picking up with this energy with the five of swords reverse there's a lot of energy here where this person would come and then go and then come and then go and this almost made you question your self-worth in the past but over time i'm picking up whether you're not there yet you may still be in this energy but i'm hearing over time what you're learning is to find that self-love within yourself and that clarity within yourself because I, they're saying they don't really realize it yet but the true prize of this situation they may not see a silver lining in it now but it was all to benefit them for them to look within become stronger within have that discernment and find that that love is within themselves because there is almost this energy because you guys have such big hearts you will give a lot and that's beautiful but i feel like again i'm gonna quote miss ariana grande you know like this song in my head where she um says um painted a picture i thought i knew i thought i drew you well i've got a habit of seeing what isn't there like and i've i've been in this energy myself you guys may have like um neptune in the seventh house i have neptune in the seventh house that's why i'm you know kind of like correlating it to that but there's just this energy of um you will see the potential in somebody because you see from such a beautiful lens of seeing the good in people that you almost overlook the negative traits um because you you know you see the good in them and it's not that this person's bad it's just that this person is slightly wounded you know what i mean this person's wounded and it's like they're not acting out of um love right now they're acting out of wounds you know what i mean and they can't help it because that's something that they need to heal but at the same time this is when you're in a connection with somebody it's supposed to be a give and take and if somebody isn't given to you you cannot heal them and you have to turn around and give that internally you know what i mean you can't fix anybody you know and that's something you know a lot of us empaths we have to learn we can't fix people we can't change people people do that themselves and one thing that i will say though is i don't feel like this is over at all um i see that how can I explain this? I see you moving, because I feel like you're in a bit of a stagnant energy or you're starting to look out of this stagnant energy now and move out of this stagnant energy now. And I really do feel like you're going to find 
it's like you're taking your worth back you're taking your worth out of this person's hands and moving it within you know putting it back in your hands you know what i mean because a lot of people will say to me whether it's in the comments of a of a pick a card or you know and sometimes in general readings they'll say um you know what's going to happen with this connection and obviously that may be why you've clicked on this video but the beautiful thing is it's not in the other person's hands it's in our hands we say what happens in this connection you know and if what we put on the table isn't met we can walk away and have that love for ourselves that you know what you're still healing this isn't a situation for me right now i'm not gonna hold myself back i'm gonna walk away and i really do see you guys finding clarity within and going you know what i'm gonna leave it up to the universe if this is meant to be it will be for me and if it is not then i'm gonna step away and to be honest with you with you doing that even if you're not in contact with this person because i do feel like there is some sort of energy exchange with this person i feel like you pulling your energy away and putting it within yourself and really healing those wounds um or grieving or just releasing it's almost like this person feels that energy change within you and steps back towards you do you know what i mean because i do, whether you guys are in contact or not I feel like for a lot of you guys, for some of you guys are not, and then for others of you, it's like a very like, um, you're in contact, but it's not anything of substance. Let's just say that it's not anything of substance because of this tower moment. You're currently in a moment, Spirit is showing me where you're looking within um, and changing internally. And I really do feel like your person with the King of Wands and the Page of Cups is going to be watching that. For some of you guys, it's from afar, so on social media, they're going to be watching you put that energy within yourself, watching you glowing. And I do really feel like they'll try and step towards you again. And it's going to be, they may even come out of the woodworks with a random offer that you didn't even expect. I feel like this person tried to control the situation. But I am going to say, guys, because obviously I have to honour what I'm being shown in the tarot with the chariot card yes i'm seeing this person wanted their way in this connection and wanted their cake and eat it too and i don't mean that in the sense of they wanted you and somebody else for some of you guys if that's already happened that could be but what i'm being shown is they didn't want to put in a lot of effort they wanted you to do a lot of the work but still stick around that's what i'm picking up here but what i am being shown because you're mirroring energies and you know if you guys don't like a bit of tough love <laughs> i'm sorry but i have to be honest i feel like there's an element of control from you guys too um where it comes from spirits saying abandonment so for some of you guys is maybe abandonment issues or for some of you guys is just feeling like you needed somebody um at this specific time that you were really involved with this person and i feel like you without even realizing it tried to control the situation as well because i don't feel like there was a lot of trust or there was just a lot of wounds where everything was kind of muffled so there was an there's an energy even from you guys where there was a bit of control from your end of like um worrying what they might have been doing or um just making scenarios up in your head because you've been wounded in the past which is completely normal like i do that a lot too <laughs> you know what i mean so there's an element of whatever this person's doing it's a wound and it's coming back reflected from the other person too so i don't know you guys are really serving as as um mirrors here but it almost feels like wound mates not so much like soulmates obviously if you guys feel like your soulmates listen to your intuition because this is general you know what i mean but and there's an underlying energy of like wound mates like there's wounds here that you're reflecting within each other and you both need to kind of work on and i do feel like you've been doing the work though with the six of swords i really do like you feel like you've been doing the work and the victory and success and destiny as well i really do feel like you've been rewiring your brain and looking at what it is that you truly want and putting in boundaries and maybe you putting in boundaries is what caused this tower moment you know but with the king of wands i really do feel like your person is checking in on what you're doing i do feel like they're looking at your social media i do feel like they don't see the situation as unfinished like as you know done you know they see it as like unfinished business and they still feel this draw towards you and i do feel like you still feel this draw towards them but make sure when they do step back that you're putting in boundaries 
with them, okay? Um, and with the destiny of victory and success, again, this whole relationship, situationship was designed for you to look within, was designed for you to see what wounds you still had and release them was designed for you to take your power off of other people and put it within yourself was designed to make you a lot more stronger internally to know what you don't want somebody to act like so the next relationship that you step to you can actually put your needs on the table you know and with the Virgo energy, I really do feel like you're going to be working on yourself. I feel like this, with Virgo, Virgo is a very healing energy. And I do feel like you're in a period of healing right now. Um, for some of you, you're in the midst of it. For some of you guys, it's kind of like unraveling out. But you guys are healing and working within yourself. And I feel like a lot of you guys may be letting go with this grief card. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I really do feel like you're... You're, you're grieving over what could have been though you know sometimes when we miss somebody and we lack over a relationship sometimes we can literally i wouldn't say be over them but we could it's not so much them that we're like crying over every day but when we're with somebody every day or we're used to talking to somebody every day and sharing that energy with somebody or every day it becomes a habit and we create as human beings we naturally create what could be you know what I mean? And then when that falls through, a lot of that mourning, a lot of that grief is crying over what could have been. You know, a life that could have been, a relationship that could have been, instead of looking at the matter of fact, which is just a normal thing that we do. But I really want to, I'm going to shuffle some more. I wasn't going to do this, but I really want to shuffle some more as to what's going to come moving forward um because i don't like that i'm leaving it here i i, I do have other oracle cards that i was going to do anyway but i do want to pull just like four more just to see um what to do next or what's to come for it next so before i do that i do want to say you do have the card pay attention to the red flags um the signs are cautioning you and keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so with that energy, what I'm really picking up on is I feel like there was a lot of red flags in this situation. But I just, again, I just feel like there was two people that were, I, I do feel like you overlooked the red flags because almost they were sugarcoated. You know what I mean? They were sugarcoated. They were, um... I really feel like you wanted to heal this person or help this person in some way. I don't know whether, you know, things happened that you know about that you just wanted to help them with or whether it was just that energetic energy of wanting to, you know, fix that person and help that person. There is that kind of energy there, but just know that when you're in a relationship, a relationship isn't supposed to be a he like I'm healing this person or fixing this person a relationship supposed to be two whole people coming together and reciprocating energy you know what I mean not somebody pouring all their energy into somebody else's cup without asking for it in return or even getting it in return because people can say they'll give it back to you but they don't and I've had to learn that the hard way too guys people will say all that they want but it's the actions you know what I mean and I feel like you're coming wise to this now and learning and seeing clarity and that will you know I do have love for you but I will only be with you if you step up and you're not stepping up. That's an energy that's coming through that you're stepping into. So let me just ask with four more cards here, guys. What's to come in the future with the situation? Um, what's to come moving forward with this situation, Spirit? Oh my God, they're all flying out. That was way too many. That was like a whole other eight cards. Um, Spirit, what's to come moving forward with pile number one's situation? We have the King of Swords. What's to come moving forward with pile number one situation? We have the Page of Pentacles. What's to come with the situation? Pile number one. What is to come moving forward? We have the Queen of Cups. What's to come moving forward? with pile number one situation okay we have another two cards i was only gonna pull four but another two flopped out so i'm gonna use them so we have the five of wands and the two of wands i'm gonna be completely honest 
I still see this energy as being a little bit stuck in the mud moving forward. And remember when I do this, when I say moving forward, I'm also picking up on the energy within the next three to six months. Like I just see a little bit of a stagnant energy or like a stuck in the mud energy. Um, somebody's not budging in the situation and spirit's calling you to have discernment and keep laying those boundaries. Because if you stay on your pedestal and you... How can I explain this? Because I saw a meme and I'm trying to explain the meme. It was a really good meme. It was like a girl and she was sitting on a pad like on her pedestal, like this big pedestal. And this guy walks over and he's like all the way on the ground because her pedestal is really high. And he looks up to her and he says, hey, he says, come down here. And she goes, no, you have to meet me up here. And he goes, well, I can't. And she goes, oh, well, I can't see you then. So with that energy being said, it's like, Stay in your energy, stay in your light, keep your boundaries where they need to be and have discernment. And if somebody can't offer up what you're putting down, do not lower yourself and swim into shallow waters to meet them there. You know what I mean? Like, stay in the deep waters with the sharks. You don't want to be swimming into the shallow waters with the shrimps. You know what I mean? You want to stay with the sharks. You want to stay on your pedestal. You want to stay in your light. Because if I just feel like even continuing moving forward, there's like a um, a stagnant, kind of confused energy. And I feel like it's coming from, you're healing and working on yourself, but this person is deciding not to. And if somebody decides not to move forward and step forward with you, that's when we've got to step away, you know? And it's not easy. I know that's probably not something that you want to hear, but like, I've had to cut off friends from years you know when they just decided that they were just going to stay in the same energy and it was holding me back and I had to learn to be like you know what I need to move forward I have love for you I'll always have love for you but I gotta move forward with my life because I can't keep running back to you trying to help heal you when you don't even want to heal yourself so definitely have that discernment and the back of the deck was the fourth pentacles I feel like your person's being quite stubborn though I feel like your person's being quite closed off not really giving much they may say a few things here and there but they don't um show up with the actions and remember we don't want to fall for words because anyone can say words you know what i mean we we listen to actions and we see actions because if somebody truly wants to be with you and is healthy enough to be in a relationship they will not leave you confused you know what i mean and sometimes and i do want to say this i may get a few thumbs down for this but i do want to explain sometimes when i've watched people talk about twin flames and I've said this so many times, I, um, I've never been in a twin flame connection that I believe to be. Um, so I don't like to talk about quote unquote twin flames very much. But And I know that they say that with twin flames, like there's a runner and a chaser. And I believe that completely. But I want you guys to understand two things. Just because you feel that somebody is a twin flame, if they're mentally being a little bit abusive or they're emotionally pulling away and coming back or they're not giving you any stability or they're not having respect for you whether you believe that they're a twin flame or not and you want them to heal you have to give that love to yourself you know what i mean you can't wait for this person to come and you know change and hold yourself back in life because they you think that they're your twin flame because it could they could be you know what i mean i'm I'm not discredited in that but it's like the whole point even there with the twin flame energy and i know it's really intense like i've 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 read about and stuff but like the whole point of what i've read about twin flames is one of them you know that they both have wounds and one of them is running from the connection because it's so intense and then the other one is like chasing and how they come to union or how they heal these wounds and the whole point of the twin flame connection i've read is for the one side you know the the chasing side to look within and finally realize that they don't need you know validation from anyone else and stand still on their own and then for the other person to you know stop running from that love and come to it but you need to understand if this person isn't coming towards you and then you've got to keep working on yourself and not hold yourself back because you're holding yourself back from connections and i feel like there's such a duality with everything like there's a duality in pick of cards there's a negative and positive side but i just feel like with a lot of people will say oh you know it's my twin flame and i you know i know they're gonna come back and it's like obviously listen to your intuition but like 
let the universe do its thing you know don't hold yourself back for this person yes if they're meant to come back into your life they will come back but don't hold yourself back from having beautiful loving connections because somebody who didn't put in a lot of work to you might come back you know what i mean because life's too short for that we want to live in the moment and love ourselves and allow beautiful connections to prosper and i i, I don't know whether that's sometimes like when i explain things it may come across a bit um blunt but i'm saying this for everybody's own good if anybody feels like that you know what i mean i always i had a karmic connection that i used to wonder like is this twin flame like is this twin flame and he treated me like a piece of crap you know what i mean and i still allowed him back because of thinking of it it was a divine connection and all it was was a wound and a karmic wound that i needed to release and now i know what not to accept in the future so even if you feel this ultimate love like i did for people you've got to put yourself first because that's how you come into alignment with yourself and when you're in alignment with yourself there's nothing that the universe will withdraw and hold back from you okay so that's something that spirit really called me to say now like i'm not one of these people that will go on and on and on maybe i am i don't know <laughs> but spirit was like get say this you know what i mean because i thought about mentioning this in my channel before and spirit was like now's the time say this right now so i don't know what one of you has needed to hear that and make it a thumbs down or two but i'm not discrediting anyone's like twin flame journey or anything like that you have to listen to your intuition especially with these general readings like this is general but i'm getting ready to pull more cards by the way guys i'm gonna stop talking now but it's you've gotta have discernment too because i feel like I have seen the twin flame toxic part of it romanticized um and I just don't feel like it should be that part of it should be romanticized you know what I mean people should be looking within you know I I, I when I hear people waiting for years for somebody to come back in the name of like twin flame like I just if anyone's being treated like that I just want to tell them like you deserve so much better you know what I mean don't wait for anybody like i just want to give you all that love myself you know what i mean and i don't know maybe that was tough love for some of you guys maybe that was needed for some of you guys i hope i didn't offend anyone um because i want to be fragile with that because i know people can be in really intense relationships i've been in them myself but just remember that you are whole you don't need another half of something to come and you know make you a full circle you know what i mean like you are you are full yourself um so pile one what's going on in this connection pile number one what's going on okay so we have i wish things were different um this person's definitely suffering from some wounds you know what i mean there's like almost like a barrier that they can't be their true authentic self um which is stopping this connection and any other connection it's like they can't move forward from their heart as if their heart is kind of blocked they move forward from their ego and their wounds um i want you to reach out the thing is about this connection is i do feel like the other person wants you to put in a lot of the work and this is where they need to step up to the plate so i don't know whether you've kind of maybe pulled away but i would i <sighs> If this person wants a connection, they're going to have to put the work in, not only within themselves, but, like, stepping towards you and making it right. You know what I mean? Like, and I just feel like they're very much in their own energy and, and not wanting to give much. And that's fine if you don't want to give, but don't say that you will and don't be so happy take, take, take in. You know what I mean? Because that's not having respect for somebody in a situation. I may come across sometimes a bit blunt, but it's like, I really do have so much love for you guys. And, like, I... I think of you all like brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? So it's like, if my sister was here, you know, and I was doing this reading for her, I would be like, look, like, you're a dime, you're a queen, you know, whoever's watching this, you're a queen, you're a king, like, you don't, you don't want to be putting all this work and I'm not getting anything back, like, you deserve five star, is that the highest? Yeah, five star restaurants on dates. You know yachts and stuff that's what you deserve do you know what i mean i regret what i did this it's almost like this person acts out of wounds and then regrets it like because this person does have a conscience it's, this is the thing i'm not picking up from this person that this person's this negative horrible person it, it's just like they're wounded 
but they're not taking responsibility to heal their own wounds. And then we have X. I don't know whether this person has an X that really scorned them and this is where it's coming from. Um, I do feel like that's where it's coming back to. Like they would cheat it on or treat it really badly. But like I was saying, guys, you just like you deserve the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I say it and I'm like I I sometimes I may come across like I'm preaching, but it's just like you deserve the world. You know that um, TikTok of Gordon Ramsay? And he's like, listen, 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 listen. And then he's like, F off, F off, F off, F off. And then he like he's shouting at everybody um, for picking on somebody. And then he turns to the person, he's like, you are amazing. Like, that's me to all the people that you may be not having the best connections with, telling them all where to go. And then me to you guys, you are amazing. That's my energy. <laughs> that's how i feel i'm coming across i may come across a bit blunt um i can't shake this connection off like i said this is probably an intense connection it did feel like somewhat of a um intense connection and that that, that does usually happen with karmic relationships and so i ride twin flames um but there's wounds here that need to be healed whenever there's wounds involved prepare for a bit of turmoil or a a, a very intense situation with somebody you know what i mean we then have you ice me out something about this makes me feel like you put in boundaries with them something about this makes me feel like you put in boundaries and they took it as rejection we have leave me alone this person goes hot and cold i feel this person may have blocked you or you blocked them oh there's a bit of ghosting going involved i hate ghosting no one deserves to be ghosted. I really don't like ghosting. And I'm blocking you out after I said I do feel like there is some blocking involved or something like that. This person runs from this situation for sure. This person just isn't ready for a wholehearty situation right now. You know what I mean? We always have hope that people will heal and people will change. Because that's what we want for everybody. You know what I mean? That's what we want. So there is hope. Obviously, that this person will change, but for right now, the energy that I'm picking off up, and I have to be honest with you, this person is just like, you know, we got the four pentacles, we had the chariot, then we had, I'm blocking you out, leave me alone. Like, there's just this energy of wounds being hit, wounds being um, triggered between the two of you. But it's more so from you guys setting in a boundary. And if somebody doesn't respect your boundaries or takes your boundaries as offensive, it's because they were benefiting off you not having any, you know? So we got to look at it like that. And the back of the deck card is sex. I do feel like they feel very sexually attracted towards you because, again, there's a very intense energy here. You know what I mean? And it's almost like you're each other's vice or were maybe in the past, like each other's vice. Like this person felt very... There may be a level of codependent here on each other's like attention or affection or love. Because I do feel like this person comes to you for your healing energy. Um, but it's like they can't reciprocate it because they're not in their energy to give like you give. Um, and that's where you've got to look at it and be like, well, I, you know, I, I feel like I deserve more. But if you do feel like this is something that you want to continue to work on, remember that this is general. So listen to your intuition. You know what I mean? I'm just reading what's in the cards and the energy that I'm getting in the cards. Um, so I know this probably isn't the best, you know, and stuff on this reading, but I really do hope it brings you clarity. All my bigger cards are the purpose for them is to bring you guys clarity and to, you know, help you guys better yourself. So I really do hope this gave you clarity in this connection. Um, I just feel, you know, I've been in a scenario like this, guys, and from person to person, I just feel like this person's quite wounded. And I feel like any grown up type of energy, like I feel like you've put in like boundaries or standing up for yourself they get triggered by it because they don't have that within themselves and i do feel like with you asserting these boundaries etc there's this energy of um oh my god i don't have control over this situation anymore and to not have control over the situ situation anymore we become vulnerable and i feel like that's this person's biggest fear being vulnerable you know um because their heart is actually very fragile they try to cover it a lot they have like a fortress around their heart spirit has shown me a heart in a cage and then a whole fortress around it you know what i mean and it's just like it's sad especially when you care for somebody but 
people have to learn those wounds themselves and if we truly love somebody like i had to kind of learn there was somebody that i was involved with for like four years and they kept me around off of words they didn't create any actions for me to go off of and i just kind of created them to be better than they were in my head i guess and i was kind of like strung along hoping that i could help them and i just kind of had to learn like i have conditional unconditional love for you but i also need to give that to myself because for some reason i was lacking it you know what i mean and i had to work on that and i was like even though i have unconditional love for you and i know you'll probably try and come back when you see me out here you know doing good and stuff and looking good but at the end of the day maybe you needed to learn that you cannot treat people like that and step up by losing me you know what i mean this person recently got back in contact and i didn't even reply because it's like he had to learn to lose me to better himself for that to trigger a change within and i really hope that that happens so that the next person that he gets with doesn't have to deal with that and have that time wasted for four years but that's like unconditional love i want him to heal and find somebody to truly have that love with and you know, he may change in the future, but at the end of the day, he could come back as a Buddhist monk. At the end of the day, he hurt me, I gotta move on. I would be disrespecting myself to go back. That took a lot for me to get to. And I just feel like there's, I, I see a lot of myself in this pile. And I just really want you guys to know that that love that this person can give you, that's already within yourself. And I feel like you're learning that now. And I'm sending you guys so much love on that self-love journey. Um, I hope my words are like healing for you and I'm not preaching. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why today I'm worrying that I'm preaching because sometimes I talk so much. Um, but I'm sending you guys lots of love anyway. Just remember, you are the light. You deserve caviar and uh, I mean, some of you guys might be vegan. You guys deserve organic strawberries and milk-free chocolate. You know what I mean? You deserve all the finer things in life. You know what I mean? Don't be caught up on words. Um, there's a saying that I've been using a lot recently that spirit said that I've caught on to it and it's um, bees with honey in their mouth sting have stings in their tails. So remember, we want actions, not words said. You know what I mean? But I'm sending you guys lots of love anyway. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to leave now. I keep talking. But um, yeah, I'm sending you guys lots of love. Hopefully this brought you clarity and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next reading. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal number two, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at the situation between you and your person and we are going to be looking at the energies of what's truly going on in this connection. So I'm going to start on the left with the tarot cards and then we'll move over to the oracles on the right. So we have the sun, the three of wands, the empress, the four of pentacles, the two of cups, the seven of swords, the high priestess in reverse and the five of pentacles and the back of the deck you guys we have the three of pentacles <clears throat> sorry guys so the first thing that i'm picking up i am here in full start i do feel like this situation almost started off very um it feels like somewhat perfect or just very good like you bounced off each other everything was going well it seemed like there was a promise for the future everything you know was going with the flow everything was pretty good but there's this energy of as it was starting to progress as feelings got deeper as the words like relationship or commitment were starting to spring up in their minds or your minds their connection then started to get a bit wobbly sort of showing me a, a connection kind of like wobbling and i feel like this wasn't your doing sometimes like with pile number one there was a mirrored wound um within the connection but with this one it's like you were doing all that you needed to do you know what i mean like you were very grounded in the connection you didn't have any unrealistic expectations you you know you just kind of did what anyone would do stepping into a connection um you know the empress is very effortless she's abundant she knows her abundance is going to come in she doesn't have to worry there's that type of energy coming from you whereas i feel like the four of pentacles is coming through from your person like your person almost didn't take the initiative to take this situation into the next level or just was not pulling their weight like there's just this energy of someone not pulling their weight an energy of somebody not 
you know, they want the Empress, but, you know, the Empress is high maintenance. And when I say high maintenance, I don't mean, like, you know, shove dollar bills, like, on her. I mean, like, the Empress is high maintenance, like, she's in a divine abundant energy, so she deserves that given back. And this isn't, this is stingy energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just, like, I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my pinnacle here. You know what I mean? And I just feel like, one that's not how you step towards a relationship that's not how a relationship progresses um but there's an energy of keeping things back i don't know whether this person kept some secrets i feel like you'd know about it now if you know if i'm saying that i feel like this person held back this person didn't um <sighs> It's not even coming back as fear as of commitment. It's like this person wanted. I'm gonna be honest with you with what spirits say, and if this doesn't resonate, then just pick another pile. This is general, and I feel like you'll know about this anyway if I'm saying it. But I do feel like there may have been somebody else involved for a lot of you guys, like because I'm here and they wanted their cake. I wanted to eat it too and then we have the two of swords and the seven of swords which talks about somebody doing someone dirty in a connection and in the back of the deck we have the three of pentacles which you know to the, in this situation kind of alludes to a third party um i was hoping it was something different but as i tap in that's what i'm getting so um take it as it resonates guys but it could just be like the third party it doesn't have to be a significant other it could be like um work then putting them energy more into work they're putting them putting them energy more into um friends and going out with friends and not spending it with you or um putting that energy into you know their family their family kind of coming first but then that's fine if the family comes first but then what about you you know what i mean like you need to be on the tier too if you're putting in that energy too you know what i mean and i just there's a big energy here of somebody not making you a priority you know what i mean and the question is why because you're over here looking like the damn empress you know what i mean with this energy of this damn empress no whether you know whether you're a male or female that's the energy you're exuding and for some reason they're not making you a priority that's an issue and i do feel like this is the issue of this situation here um with the seven of swords and two of cups this does allude to somebody being a slightly sneaky um somebody kind of doing something that they shouldn't have done to honor you um i do feel like you've caught wind in this though but there is this energy here with the high priestess in reverse and the five of pentacles because this is coming through a little bit of like um a past connection or something that recently happened but it's not happening right now with the five of pentacles and the high priestess like you had your intuition telling you something but you went against it and you almost felt like you um what's the word like sabotaged yourself like you feel like you um came out of your own power for this person almost like there's that type of energy but i want you to know when people tell us these you know things or they say they want to be with us and whatnot we we're not naturally going to have discernment because especially when we have a pure heart why are we going to think that somebody's lying we're naturally just going to believe what they're saying is true you know what i mean we're not automatically going to be walking on like you're lying otherwise we wouldn't have any room for abundance in our life so you didn't do anything wrong in this connection you believed words that were being said to you but i just really do feel like this person wanted to be with you but also wanted to have their cake and eat it like they it's almost like they wanted you but they didn't like, they didn't want to be in a relationship, but they didn't want to lose you. Um, and they didn't want anyone else to have you. But in turn, that was selfish. Them thinking of themselves and not you. A relationship is when you think of the other person too. And I don't feel like this person thought, gave a second thought about you and your feelings. Because they were more looking at what they, you know could have and i do feel like if they did i want to say this to you guys if you guys are stepping towards this knowing about the third party remember guys i do feel like you'll know about this but if there is a third party involved i don't feel like there's a lot of substance that i do want to say i feel like some of you guys may be worried like you may know that they're talking to other people or may know that there's other people involved i want you to know that there isn't substance there like they are looking at you as the empress and the person that they want to be with but they know that they can't give you that energy so the people that they are 
dealing with if you guys know about this there isn't this even if they try to play it off like it is if you guys aren't speaking or something like that there isn't a lot of substance it's words and what that person can do for them you know they're kind of like a crow looking for something shiny and then the people that want to kind of draw them in with their own agendas are like waving that shiny thing in but at the end of the day you know like christmas when we really want something for christmas and then we finally get and we get bored after a day that is that person's energy towards who they're stepping towards you know what i mean like they're not a lot of their relationships lack substance whereas you have a lot of substance you have a lot of beautiful energy and they recognize that in you and see you as a prize but it's just like they ain't got the money to win that prize and when i say money i don't mean physical money i mean the abundant energy to reciprocate and have that you know what i mean and i really do feel like there was not two sides of the situation being met you know what i mean with a firm foundation card with a patience card it's like with a relationship where you step towards you're both coming towards each other with actions not just words you plant that seed you water it together and it grows and i just feel like that didn't happen it started to but this person and their you know inability to grow up and be in that situation where they want a relationship like be fully in a relationship and know what it is to have a full relationship like they didn't even i feel like they don't have a very grown-up version of what a relationship is whereas i feel like you do i feel like you know what you want you have a very adult way of looking at what a relationship is you build with that person etc this person doesn't have that this person still needs to grow up a bit this person still needs to work on that because not only are they lacking in that energy of one in a relationship they're lacking in energy of respect because anybody who does as this you know i feel like they don't have a lot of respect within themselves so they don't know how to give that to other people they're very for themselves and what they can get and i know this is probably not something that you want to hear i thought these this particular pick a card was going to be more of a, a love one um i might actually change the title i had a different title for it but i may change the title because this is coming through as more of a you know sticky situation and i kind of understand it because right now the whole world is going through a collective dark night of the soul there's a lot of wounds coming up and people are dealing with you know situations like this but um at the end of the day and i was saying in pile number one as well because there was a similar kind of energy with pile number one a bit different but you are a queen or a king watching this like you deserve the world and we want to make sure that we're um when we're stepping into relationships we're falling for actions not words because like i said in pile one bees with honey in their mouth have stings in their tails we don't want to fall for words we want to see actions and we want to be listening to our intuition because there's an energy here with the high priestess reversed like we were kind of ignoring our intuition a little bit because there's an energy here of i knew it i feel like you may have caught this person out and then you're like i knew it you know i knew it and i really do feel like <sighs> there's this energy coming through here um you may be out of this energy now and i've been in this energy you know when you're in a relationship that may be slightly codependent because i feel like these type of situations can make us a little codependent when we're used to them i feel like there was an energy of staying in this connection because you didn't want to be on your own you didn't want to feel lonely you know what i mean you didn't feel like there may be someone else for you or maybe you're still thinking back to this connection because you don't want to be on your own you don't think that there's going to be somebody else for you and i want you to know that there will be you know what i mean there will be it's just this energy it's it's, it's annoying like i feel your frustration because i'm picking up on a frustrated energy and then i just feel annoyed because there's this energy of when i'm actually looking at it from a bird's eye view i see you and you obviously liking them and having this beautiful energy and then when i tap into that actual energy because when i tap into people's energy i see their wounds and their blockages but i see their higher selves kind of like feelings you know what i mean i see that so when i tap into that i see that this person sees you as somebody that they would want to be with this person sees you as somebody that they want you know the house the kids and all the trippings with but there's this, this energy of i'm not ready yet and it's frustrating to me because it's like okay if you're not ready for that yet that's cool but why hold somebody back if you love somebody you wouldn't do that you would allow them to just continue you know what i mean there was somebody that i was seeing that i really liked but they were traveling and you know i could have just you know had a long distance and held them back but you know i really cared for this person and i didn't want them to um 
hold themselves back for me you know what i mean when they're traveling they could meet new connections and if the universe wanted us to be together the universe would have us together i would never hold somebody back so i don't like this energy that they would you know say that they want to be in the relationship when they know they're not ready because then that can hold you back you know what i mean and i do feel like this was a lesson sorry guys for you to learn and work through so you know um what to, to put on the table and know that it has to be reciprocated and know to look at actions more than words but there's still this energy of like unfinished business like them still want in something with you but it's just so damn slow like they're taking so long to decide what they want and we need to look at if there is disrespect with a third party situation we do want to look at that you know what i mean because no one does deserve that. And we do have the separation card. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I feel like some of you guys aren't speaking right now. But there is this energy between you two. I'm feeling like you won't speak. But then when you speak again, it's like yesterday. And it's almost like you forget what may have gone on. Because there's a lot of lust and a lot of love and a lot of feelings there. They're like your best friend. So I understand how hard that can be. You know what I mean? To even leave somebody when they're your best friend and you care about them and you know that they want something but they're not putting that work and I know how hard that can be. You know what I mean? But we want to make sure that we're putting that energy within ourselves because this person is thinking more so of themselves. We want to make sure we're thinking of ourselves. You know what I mean? With this romantic feelings card, I do feel like there's a there's attraction there but it's like if somebody's got wounds to heal we can't fix them i don't feel like they're these to be honest with you when pile number one there was wounds but with pile number two it's just like this person just not being emotionally evolved enough to give and take in a real relationship yet you know what i mean and that's the thing we don't want to wait around for somebody i said in pile number one i'm not going to go into the long speech because it might take up the whole reading but i was saying in pile number one like you know, I see a lot of people and they say, you know, I've been, you know, I haven't spoken to this person in like five years, ten years. And, um, you know, I I want to know, like, they, they may think that they're twin flame and stuff like that. And obviously we all know if somebody's a twin flame or not. But even if somebody is a twin flame, I don't want the running and chasing distant thing to be glorified because we don't want to be waiting around the waste in our life when we could have beautiful connections. You know what I mean? Anyone who's in a healthy mindset full of love will allow somebody to just do you know to do their own thing i didn't want to you know end a situation with somebody that was traveling i could have easily stayed in a you know long distance relationship but i don't want to hold that person back and i'm healed enough to know that what's for me is going to come to me you know so i don't want that to be glorified ever that we have to wait for people because you deserve love you know if somebody isn't going to step up to the plate that's their scenario to work on pile number two what's going on in this connection what's going on in the connection with pile number two how's that person feeling okay we have i regret what i did so this is probably alluding to the seven of swords three of pentacles i'm gonna pop that there this is alluding to that i feel i do feel like this person did really hurt you with the five of pentacles as well i feel like you lost felt like you lost a part of yourself and you're working to get that part back that you already have like this person it felt like a chunk you know sometimes when we really are in love with somebody and we're in a relationship and then they leave and then it's like it almost feels like someone died you have to grieve that person but you know that they're still out there that's like the worst you know and that's the energy that's coming through here that may resonate with a few of you this person knows that they did wrong this person knows pile number two pile number two how is that person feeling towards them what's going on pile number two i'm scared you've moved on this person has a big fear of you finally deciding enough is enough and finding somebody else because they know that they can't give you what it is that you deserve right now and they fear that you're going to meet somebody that can that's the energy that's coming through here they fear that you will meet somebody that will give you what you deserve which again is selfish because to love somebody you would want that for them you know every act that i have i hope they heal and find the love that they seek you know what i mean because they even when they've been horrible like we don't want to wish any more worse on them because that's causing more pain for not just them but other people we want to wish them love and we want to wish that they find love within themselves and with other people you know like to have that so 
to be scared that you're moving on again it's a selfish energy you know in my eyes it may not be in other people's eyes and that's fine remember i'm just talking from my point my point of view we all have different points of view um so we have less um yeah this person does feel very sexually attracted towards you i feel like this person i'm i don't normally talk about this but it's actually coming through so i will say when this person has intimate experiences like that i'm gonna try and keep it pg with other people um it's not as deep and it doesn't feel as good like it's probably a bit of an ego boost for you guys and you know let it be that because that is literally what's coming through it doesn't they don't feel as satisfied they don't feel as um you guys share like a mental connection too when it just makes it better this when they're with other people they don't have that it almost feels empty and it doesn't fill up their cup you know what i mean with you it's like i'm seeing like glitter <laughs> you know what i mean like it's magical <laughs> like that's just something that came through um yeah i didn't appreciate you i don't feel that this person appreciated you which is crazy because you're coming through as the empress you know what i mean i don't feel like this person really did appreciate you for you know the king and queen that you are like i i just they they're just very for themselves and it's just something they gotta work on yeah i still see a future this person still sees a future with you um this person doesn't feel like this situation is over at all um you know and it's up to you whether you wait for this person or you move on you have to listen to your intuition because this is just a general reading but you know we want to make sure that we're putting in boundaries and we're not waiting around you know um and we fall for we fall for actions not words um and then we have the ego card like i just said this person oh sorry guys i just pulled my hair and it's come out sorry um we have the ego card this person it this person lives in that ego this person lives in the 3d not the 5d and you guys have a beautiful connection in the 5d but it's hard for it to come into fruition with the 3d because this person's very chained to materialism i mean like i'm hearing really chained to what other people will think really chained to um how they are perceived um by people that don't really mean anything in their life like they want to come across like they have it all um but it's at the expense of people around them i'm hearing that's what i just shared um pilot number two how does that person feel about the situation we have x so i don't know whether this person is um your ex or this person maybe with the three of pentacles they got involved with an ex or something like that um that's what I'm picking up more so of. Obviously, this is general. Take what resonates. But that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up. I'm also here when you be, you may be one of the only people you've been in an actual relationship with. If you've been in a relationship with this person. Like, you're that first ex. You know what I mean? Like, that's the energy I'm picking up with some of you guys. Anyway. Um, yeah, we have sex. We have sex and less. Like I said, they do crave you on that intimate level like that. They do um they do <laughs> okay so we also have i think about you a lot and we have f you they just kind of fell out um so this person does think about you this person does referring back to memories that they had with you um this person does reminisce a lot um i feel like they wouldn't admit it but they do and i feel like they are, and I'm hearing this, searching for you and other people, or trying to find that connection with you and other people, but it's just not, someone's not letting up, you know what I mean? Because no one can be you, you know what I mean? And with the FU card, I don't know whether you left them, but there's just this energy of, they feel like you'd be angry at them. I don't know whether you argued with them, they feel like you'd be angry at them, and it's almost like they're coming in with the defense because they know you will be on the defense you know what i mean there's that type of energy coming through and then we have third party which again is correlating the three of pentacles the seven of swords the five of pentacles i this is really confirming that this is some sort of third party situation where you know somebody may have like dishonored you and and got with somebody else or done the dirty with somebody else and um i feel like the way that they'll pay for it is you moving on that's what i'm hearing you moving on and finding that 
beautiful love that you deserve i feel like that's how they'll pay for it but this person thinks about you a lot and this person still sees a future so if you truly do believe that this person will change and you know that's up to you i'm just reading what's in the cards but just like just be careful make sure we're looking at actions and you know it's not that these feelings aren't there because these feelings aren't there but it's the it's the respect at the moment that isn't there and it's the the ego that is causing it you know this person has a very big ego and we got to look at that and this needs to be released for them to be able to come into a very healthy union with anybody you know what i mean it's like they want to be the player or they want to be you know they're just looking for self-satisfaction and that's not that's not a relationship you know what i mean it's not um nor is it a relationship you know because i feel like they don't want to be alone too that's not a relationship to step into when just because you don't want to be alone you know, you don't stay in a relationship because you don't want to be alone. You, you know, a relationship's a give and take and it's healthy and it's two whole people coming together. Not, you know, somebody not having respect. So I hope this brought you clarity. Remember that my readings, you know, they're, they're for clarity. I don't like to sugarcoat ever. I'm not one of those people. I will say it how it is Um, because I'm not here for you know, like this big following or whatever, it's lovely to help as many people as I can, but I'm not trying to sugarcoat to like keep people on par. I'm here to give general guidance and give people clarity. That's my purpose in life in regards to the tarot part anyway. So um, I hope this did just that for you guys. Um, I know it's probably not something that you wanted to hear, but this person does genuinely like you, but it's up to them now whether they want to, you know, heal and release and actually step up to the plate. And then it's up to you whether you want to forgive and, you know, see if they genuinely have changed. You know what I mean? And that's entirely up to you. Um, So that's all I have for you. I really hope that you enjoyed. I'm sending you guys so much love. um, So much love. Giving you hugs. Um, yeah, I hope this brought you clarity. Let me know how this resonated and I will see you guys in my next reading. So thank you guys for watching. Okay, card number three, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at the current situation that you have in mind right now and taking a look at the energies of what's going on. So I'm going to start on the left with your tarot and then we'll move on to the right with your oracle cards. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords reversed, we have the Knight of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups. And the back of the deck we have the Five of Swords. So what I'm actually picking up is I do feel like this is somewhat of like a soulmate connection. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be saying that otherwise. The last two piles were a lot more complicated. This is coming through like, yeah, this is a connection that has potential. You know what I mean? I'm definitely seeing that when I'm looking at it. Um, but there is an energy of, um, I wouldn't even say scared to be vulnerable. Maybe that's the case, but it's more coming through as, um, um, banishing of insecurities, especially from your person. I feel like your person wants how can I explain it? There's this energy here, like this person sees you as the ace of pentacles. They see you as this dime. They see all of your potential. They see everything within you, you know what I mean, that they want. But with the king of swords reversed, there's this energy of not knowing how to physically step towards it. So there's almost an energy of, they put you on a pedestal in the sense that, if you guys can hear clashing guys, somebody's doing the dishes downstairs, so apologies. But um, there is this energy of them really wanting to be with you, but it's almost like they're living it in their head. And it's not that they don't want to step towards you, but with the Knight of Swords here and the Four of Cups, it's like physically they want to come towards you with this Knight of Swords and give you all this love and give you all this energy. But with the Four of Cups here, it's like they're beating themselves up. This person has a tendency to sometimes get quite pessimistic and beat themselves up 
I'm not good enough. I don't feel like I'm good enough. I don't feel like I'm good enough for this situation. And it's almost like they overthink. They may have like um, a Virgo moon or a lot of Virgo in their energies or like Gemini, uh, maybe a bit of Libra, but they overthink a lot. Um, they may have like a Gemini rising or something like that where they worry about what people think, worry about looking stupid. And it's like, they want to step towards you with this Knight of Swords, like yes, you are the one I want to be with and, and be that person that they want to be in their head. But it's almost like the way that they have you on a pedestal, which is, you know, beautiful. We kind of put people on pedestals, don't we? Like when we want to be with them, when we love them. But they almost put who they should be of who they think they should be on a pedestal. And then when they can't live up to it because they have very high expectations of themselves, they beat themselves up. And this is this person's energy here. Like they're beating themselves up for not being what they think they should be. Um, I hope that I'm I'm explaining the feeling that they're giving me right now. Because um, with the King of Swords reversed, it's like they're in their mind. They're overthinking. They're getting critical. A lot of Virgo energy coming through. Like, very perfectionist. You know what I mean? Like, what if this happens? Like, what if that happens? They may have their Mercury and Libra. Like, they're like, yeah, okay, I could say this. But what if they say this? Like, there's a lot of that. You know what I mean? And it's not somewhat unhealthy but it's unhealthy for them you know what i mean like it's 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 what's stopping them from bringing this connection to full potential right now but i do see them stepping out of that energy and i'll get to that in a second this person just needs maybe um a bit of encouragement i would say to be honest with you i do feel like this person needs a bit of encouragement i feel like this person needs do you know what they're showing me i don't know whether any of you guys have watched harry potter if you haven't you probably won't know the reference but in harry potter um i think it's uh harry he wins this um potion it's called liquid luck and he tells ron his friend that he's put the liquid luck in his drink and ron believes that he um has had this portion of liquid luck even though he hasn't um because he believes that he's had it he goes to play quidditch and he like wins the game literally he thinks he's the boss and he ends up pulling a girl and it's all fun and happy for him because he had that like with liquid luck and spirit were like because i watch harry potter a lot so they try to explain situations through images or songs that i know and spirit said they need liquid luck. So if you guys watch Harry Potter, you guys may have watched it together or that may be some sort of significance that they shouldn't be Harry Potter, to be honest with you. Um, so just take that as it resonates with Spirit to show me that they need a bit of confidence, a bit of a confidence boost. Spirit said they need liquid luck. So take that as it resonates, but they definitely do need a boost of something. <laughs> you know what I mean? To kind of step towards you because it's just this energy of um they feel like they may get shut down or who am i there's a bit of imposter syndrome in the sense of like who am i to you know th there's insecurities more so there's insecurities for some reason i'm picking up that this person wears glasses or you wear glasses i don't know why that's come through remember this is general take it as it resonates but i'm being shown somebody wearing glasses um but this person feels a bit um uh just a bit insecure or a bit it, it's within themselves though it's nothing to do with you it's it within themselves i'm also seeing somebody who wears like a black necklace it either looks like a black ribbon or like a black string with a necklace on it like a um a tooth what do they call like shark tooth or something like that you know like them black shark tooth or like um maybe a crystal or something like that or some sort of pendant i don't know why that's coming through just a little bit of significance here remember this is a general reading but that's just kind of come through so maybe that will resonate i don't know um and blue eyes again this is just coming through and someone has really nice eye eyelashes i'm being told sometimes i just get like a random like dump of like just random just bits of information that would resonate with maybe like three or four of you and i just say it out loud so if it doesn't resonate don't you're not it's not that this does this pile isn't resonating for you it's just that information was for someone else i get that a lot in readings i don't know why um but this person really wants to work on a situation with you and i want you to know that this person doesn't have eyes for anybody else this person has eyes for you they worry that you may um somebody may come in and swoop you is the energy that's coming through here but look at this it's beautiful with the two of cups with the eight of pentacles like they want to work on something with you they want to work on 
um a relationship with you they want to work on a connection with you they want this they want this two of cups it's just them bigging themselves up and i feel like spirit are really helping them step towards you to be honest with you because i feel like sometimes their insecurities hold them back in life or just their mind can block certain things in life and spirit's helping them step out of that and with the knight of cups as well like i really do feel like this person's going to come through with an offer the fact that we have the two of cups in the hierophant this is coming through as a soulmate energy a divine counterpart energy and this person is it's funny because when i look at the knight of cups like when i look up because spirit will show me um images or anything in my mind <laughs> i look at the knight of cups but then as i look within my mind i'm seeing the knight of cups card but the cup is shaking like this person's ready to offer this cup but the cup is shaking there's nerves here you know what i mean um this person has a lot of nerves like i i don't know is this like a new connection for this person or something or is it just like a long time coming or maybe they've been single for a while i don't know there's insecurities maybe they just feel like they haven't had somebody like you before maybe that's the connection i don't know maybe they've never felt this way before and they don't want to mess it up but there's a really beautiful um just cute like it, it feels like an experience but it's not it, it it's it's just this energy of like oh my th this feeling's real you know they really really feel this you know sometimes when we really want something so bad um, like a dream and then we get nervous when it's starting to happen because it's like oh my god it's actually happening it, it, that's the feeling that i'm getting there's a nervousness um and a shyness almost to them that they might not even show because i feel like they may come across a bit aloof like a bit like passive but they don't mean to it's because they're in their head so much they may be infjs um to be honest with you maybe like life past seven i feel like you're a little bit more outgoing than them though i feel like you're a little bit more open with your emotion than them or open with your confidence a little bit more and they quite admire that um even if you don't realize it they view you like that and with the throw chakra there's a lot that they want to say but they just haven't plucked up the courage to say yet all good there's nothing negative in this reading like there's a lot of beauty like there's just a lot of you know stuff that they want to say but it's like mm oh like they're they're worrying about being vulnerable in a way you know they're worrying about scaring you off there's a it's always like um they're always thinking of what you will think you know and you can't think that because we don't know what anybody else is thinking you know what i mean we don't but it's like they're worrying they're worrying about what you will think of them if they said something and with the universe card like they feel very divinely guided to you very divinely guided to you and they don't want to mess it up they feel very soulmatey to you um i would be shocked if you're not in connection and if you're not they're really wanting to step towards you you know i'd be shocked if you weren't in connection and i feel like if you weren't in connection it would be because they weren't expressing how they felt but they really want to show you how they feel and with the jupiter card as well the jupiter the jupiter cards you know jupiter is all about expansion um but again jupiter is about luck too and like harry potter said like well, no, harry potter didn't tell me this like um my spirit guide said <laughs> my spirit guide's like harry potter with the glasses and the one like you're a psychic, Lexi. No. <laughs> um, but um, my spirit guide said about liquid luck. You know what I mean? Like, I really do feel like they're needing that boost of luck. And I really do feel like they're going to... The universe is helping work them... Um, big themselves up to step towards you you make it like a random gush of them just explaining their feelings it's almost like i don't know whether you've got you guys have watched um where the millers um <laughs> i know it's like a silly cut like explanation but on where the millers when um oh i think the guy's called kenny um and he really likes that girl um from the like there's like a camper van if you guys don't know let me explain there's a guy called kenny um because these four people that like kind of know each other they kind of smuggle like weed across the border and they pretend to be a family and kenny's like pretending to be the younger son and they bump into this really like um funny couple let's just say and they have a daughter and kenny really likes the daughter and the girl really wants kenny to kiss her but kenny is like oh i don't know like kenny's just like he kind of messes it up a bit because he's scared like this is literally the energy that i'm picking up and the pl person who's playing the dad i can't remember his name he says to him to give him a bit of advice he's like when i want to um kiss somebody or if i want to do something i just count to three because if i keep thinking in my head then i'm gonna mess it up so i just go one two three and then i do it so 
obviously the movie commences i'm not going to give you the whole synopsis you can watch it if you're interested but towards the end he sees the girl again and instead of waiting he just goes one two three and he kisses her finally and there's all fireworks and stuff but that's the energy coming through like they just need to go for it and i feel like the spirit guides are like coming through is that like energy of like just go for it just go for it you know what i mean given the the liquid luck you know and with perseverance this person really would fight for you though i i do feel like if you have stepped away this person wants to fight for you but it's just like they're scared to step up to the plate a little bit they're trying to pluck up the courage um but they're not giving up on this connection at all like they won't give up on this connection at all i'm here and they're scared that you will but they're gonna keep going you know what i mean they really really want to hand you and offer you this knight of cups um but the thing is as well obviously we see that we see the two of cups they really want to reciprocate your energy and give you um this carpet but with the knight obviously the king of cups is like the you know the more grown-up energy in regards to the cups energy the knight of cups is a little bit more um younger but it's like when I'm looking at this person's energy, they feel like the King of Cups because they are very sensitive and they do have a beautiful heart, but they think of themselves as the Knight of Cups. I'm actually seeing them in their potential as the as the King of Cups, but they see themselves looking in the mirror as the Knight of Cups. You know what I mean? Like they're still trying to big themselves up. And then we have very soon, like I said, it, it will be very soon that this person um says how they feel you know what i mean whether it's like a revelation you're just waiting for them like they're a crush or if it's somebody from your past they will be coming back to offer you something do you see how this guy's bowing and giving a rose to the lady um is that gonna focus or i don't know whether you can see you should be able to see but he's bowing and giving and it, these little angels are kind of like your spirit guides like go on give her the rose <laughs> you know what i mean like that's the energy coming through they really want to offer you um a relationship and i feel like they are going to so i'm going to shuffle some more cards um just to see um what else we can get so what is um pile number three's person feeling right now what is pile number three's person feeling oh <laughs> soulmate the thing is with these cards they're more governed towards um situationships and what's going on in the struggles so i was like mm, should i shuffle these cards should i not and then straight away the soulmate card comes up i said i do see this as a divine counterpart energy and this person sees you as a soulmate and then we have i think about you a lot this person you, you're on this person's mind i'm actually hearing this person listens to songs and thinks about you um i'm being shown drake song fire and desire I don't know whether, you know, I don't know whether I'm showing you guys something that they're not, like, admitting, but I'm hearing Drake, Fire and Desire. So, I love that song. Um, but that's what I'm being shown. I'm being shown somebody scrolling through a playlist and that song being there. I don't know why. And Drake, again, um, from Time. You know the song he did with Janae Eichel? Um, I'm hearing that too. I don't know. Maybe it's just songs that they like, but... I feel like this person may be a bit of a Drake fan. If they're not, don't worry. It's just a general reading. But um, for some of you guys, I feel like they're, gonna, they're a bit of a Drake fan. Um, it's not you, it's me. Right, I do really feel like they may feel your frustrations and they want they don't want you to ever think that it's them not liking you. Like, it's them not being confident enough you know what i mean like that's the energy coming through here like it's not you it's me like if there is any worries about this connection just know that they're like everything you're, like they're saying you're perfect everything you're doing is perfect it's it's me that needs to they're very much acknowledging that we have i was scared you've moved on they worry that you'd step away from the connection they are worried about that um that you might meet somebody that um doesn't give as much as they can even though i feel like they're able to give you a lot it's just that they worry um they worry a lot i'm here in pile number three pile number three intense yeah this person has intense feelings for you they really do feel a lot i do i am picking up like this is the first time they felt like this feeling they've never felt this type of feeling before um with anyone you know 
we have i want you to reach out it's almost like they want you to make the first move because they're scared like it's like oh it would be so much better if they made the first move and they said something you know what i mean um but we want them to make sure that they are stepping up to the plate you know what i mean we do want to make sure that we don't want to be putting all the work in for them um but definitely maybe give encouragement or be gentle i would say i would definitely say be gentle because the, 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 the way that they're showing me it it's it's the knight of cups but he shake the cup shake and he's like this you know i don't know whether you guys have watched friends when phoebe goes on set with joey to do um a scene for him to make some extra money because she like lost her job but i can't remember why she was doing a scene with him and she has to play this nurse and all she has to do in the scene because she's like an extra she's dressed as a nurse she has a tray of tools um because it's like a nurse's thing and um the minute that the person the director says action she steps um she starts walking forward but she shakes the tray the entire time it's like J -j 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 -j. she's walking and they're like what are you doing she's like oh sorry i'm nervous so she goes back to the start and they're like she's like okay i'm calm i'm calm and then they go action and then she's like J -j 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 -j, like shaking the tray that's how i'm seeing the night of cups like they're like right today's the day i'm gonna you know i'm gonna do it i'm gonna step forward and then it's like they're shaking and they're like oh okay maybe tomorrow <laughs> you know maybe tomorrow it's that type of energy and we have this connection intimidates me they do feel a bit intimidated by the whole thing you know just by the whole thing and they don't want to hurt you or they don't want to make you feel like with their i'm sorry card they don't want to make you feel like they um don't want you they're very for you and your feelings this is a really lovely energy um yeah this is a really sweet energy pile number three i'm picking up pisces they may be a pisces or have pisces moon pisces venus i don't know why i'm being shown ed sheeran i don't know why i'm being shown ed sheeran maybe they listen to ed sheeran as well i don't really know many ed sheeran songs so i'm not gonna actually i'm being shown a song with um taylor swift and i i never really listened to this but i remember it was out years ago i don't even remember the name but i know that taylor swift and ed sheeran did a song and it was something like they were in i remember there was like children involved in the video like they were in a play school or it was them as kids i don't know it was something like that maybe it was their kids i don't know but i remember it being on my screen i don't know the name of the song but that may be significant to you ed sheeran and taylor swift i do not know the song but that just got shown and I don't know why. But take that as it resonates. I don't listen to Taylor Swift. And I don't listen to Ed Sheeran much. So I don't know what the name is. Um, we have I Wish Things Were Different. We have I Wish Things Were Different. They really do feel like they... <sighs> it's like they create this... Um, they create this ideal person of themselves and then they get mad when they can't live up to it, you know? And I just feel like it sets them up for failure and they need to live in the now. They're so in their head. And the back of the deck is, you're too good for me. Like, they almost just feel inadequate when that's just you know the way that it's coming through is two divine people but it's like they're seeing themselves as the knight of cups instead of the king of cups and they're still offering you this cup but it's like they're still insecure about it you know they need to kind of like big themselves up a little bit um and work on their self-confidence but they really like they want you you know what i mean like they want you soulmate they they want you they see this as being like a universe orchestrated type of connection um we do have friendship reversed at the back of the soul's journey deck so i don't know whether this was a friendship first and then it turned into a relationship or it could be like a friend that you feel like you know has feelings for you but you um you want them to step up to the plate it could be that like you could have been friends first so it's hard for them to take the leap and you know like i just said pisces i didn't even realize the back of the astrology deck was pisces so take that as it resonates we had pisces at the back of that deck and we also have heart to heart conversations so i don't know whether you guys have a lot of these like you speak a lot i hear you speak a lot you spend like time together like that a lot like there's a lot of jokes and stuff um but it's just them being vulnerable with their heart that's sometimes a bit of a a bit of a problem you know so 
yeah that is all i have for you guys today i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up if you did and comment down below if this resonated for you um i'm sending you guys so much love i hope this you know give you guys some clarity and i hope you guys have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching this um so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully thank you guys for watching hey pal number four welcome to your readings we are currently looking at the situation that you are currently in with your person and we're going to be looking at the energy and what's actually going on in this connection so on the left i have the tarot i'm going to start with the tarot and then we'll move into the oracle cards um and i do want to say i was only pulling eight cards for each pile but for you guys an extra two cards popped out and usually when that happens it's because there's a story being told um through the cards so with that being said this reading may get a little bit specific so just remember that this is general and just take what resonates and what doesn't just leave okay because this is i don't mean like leave the reading i mean leave the paths <laughs> that don't resonate and then take what does that's what i meant hope i clarified that um so i'm going to start with the tarot and then we'll move into the oracle so you guys have the world the ace of swords the queen of wands the four of swords the seven of wands judgment the nine of wands the high priestess the page of swords and the queen of pentacles and the back of the deck guys you have the three of swords okay what's going on in this connection spirit so first of all when i was shuffling i was hearing that katie perry song i actually don't know the name of the title but she sings um i guess it's never really over i don't know what that's called it could even that could even be the title i don't really listen to much pop music but that song played as i was shuffling um so take that as it resonates because it's almost this energy of something being something once and then you always finding yourself coming back to this person or you and this person just keep kind of going back and forth with each other like that was the energy that kind of came to me through that song you know what i mean let me just sort this camera oh because it's there we go there we go there we are um i don't know normally with a world card it signifies something coming to completion but the energy that i'm actually picking up here is somebody maybe being overseas or somebody may not be in the same country as you somebody may be living far away you're just like maybe in the same country but just like far away from you like you're they're out of reach in some type of way and it's like there's this energy of wanting to be together and knowing that there's a connection there but not being able to get there but sometimes it doesn't even mean like there's distance in the sense of um traveling sometimes it can be distance in the sense of energy like somebody's distant somebody isn't in an abundant love and energy right now so you feel energetically distant to them you know what i mean like that's the energy that can come across too and i feel like there's almost like a lack of um clarity here almost if that makes sense um because there's this energy that this in this situation was very intense there was it almost felt like it was flying forward very quickly conversations were going back and forth there was a lot of love there was a lot of like back and forth love and energy um a lot of excitement a lot of passion the queen of wands always talks about passion there was a lot of passion but then it somehow fell back or it would come in waves and then die out come in waves and then die out one would run away one would step away and the other one would be like what on earth is going on and with the judgment card and the seven of wands it almost feels like somebody in this connection which i do feel is your person is fighting this connection they're fighting their feelings they're fighting the truth of this connection because they fear some sort of intimacy they fear letting their guard down there's this energy of they like to keep you in their head because it's 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 like it's safe there whereas when it comes into like concrete of being in a relationship there's this energy of feeling frightened because they don't want to lose you to be with you would make it real and they're scared to lose you like that's the energy that i'm picking up so they almost fight it they self-sabotage they don't mean to they don't even want to be doing it but it's like they're running from their own feelings because it, they feel it so intensely that's the energy coming through here and spirits kind of like drawing them to the connection or they feel very divinely guided to the connection but then at the same time they're running from it you know what i mean like they're running they're showing me i <laughs> my spirit guides are showing me memes and funny like memes today they're in a funny mood they're showing me you know that uh 
meme or like tiktok or like video or whatever it was from and there's a girl and she gets up the car and she's screaming she's like ah ah and then the guy's like why are you running why are you running and he's like and she's like ah, ah and it's like really funny and quite awkward and he's like why are you running like that is the energy that they're showing me like they're showing me the person that's saying why are you running like true love and them going ah like running away from it like they want it but they're so scared of it like that's so funny that i hope you guys know what i'm talking about that that meme um <laughs> but that's what they're showing me like this person wants it but they're running away from it it's almost like you know like you want presents from father christmas but then you go to like santa's grotto and like the mall or like you know in a shopping center and then santa's there in his grotto and your parents like go take a picture and you're like oh my god no oh my god and you like you know it's it's creepy at least i was like that i was very frightened seeing this person in real life even though i wanted presents from him like that's the energy that i'm getting like they want this connection but they're frightened of it at the same time um but it's really what they're frightened of is the potential of what could be and because when we see something that has great potential yes we want it a lot but with great potential there almost there's the, always a risk of losing but this person needs to understand they can't go through life worrying that they're going to lose something because then they're not taking the moment as it is and seizing that moment and they're denying themselves all the feelings and the love that they actually could get you know what i mean um so that's an energy that they need to step out of and with the nine of wands again there's this energy of um feeling a bit awkward to step towards the connection feeling out of their depth and that's what it, that's what's coming through they feel out of their depth and with the high priestess as well it's like they intuitively feel connected to you there may almost be a psychic connection between you guys um they may be a little bit older than you guys as well i'm hearing because i'm being shown satin i don't know why i'm being shown satin they may be a little bit older than you um but they feel very psychically connected to you. They feel very um, drawn to you energetically. They feel like that. They, there's almost a psychic connection here, but it's like they're holding themselves back from feeling it because I don't feel like this person's very spiritual. I feel like you're more connected with spirit. This person isn't. And usually I find, especially with the divine masculine, um, even if this is a feminine you're asking about, guys, remember there's divine masculine and feminine within us all. But I do find with the divine masculine, when they're not connected with spirit, like and they meet somebody who is connected with spirit and is very healing it's like they're drawn to that person because of you know the healing energy and the beautiful energy and there's a connection there but because they don't understand energy like that they feel all these feelings and they don't almost know what to do with it they don't know how to apply the actions with it because it's it, it's a higher vibration that they they don't even know what vibration is so it's, it can be confusing for them that's the actual type of energy that i'm picking up here you know what I mean? And it causes them to be flaky and pull back or step back. And you're like, put, you know, you're feeling like, well, what's wrong with me then? Why are they stepping away from me? Why are they doing this? But they're stepping back out of like, they don't know how to bring that 5D energy that they're feeling when they're with you, like into the physical and make it something because it's almost like they're fear and feeling that because to feel that type of energy and step into that energy you have to address insecurities and wounds and i just feel like this person's almost frightened to do that or look towards their past as to what's stopping them moving forward there's an energy of that but it's funny with the page of swords and the queen of pentacles they see you as the high priestess but they also see you as the queen of pentacles like you're coming through with very big d energy like they see they very much have you on a pedestal because you're also coming through as the queen of wands here too so look at that this is how they see you they have big they see you as very they, like they look at you very highly is what i'm trying to explain they see you as very passionate very beautiful very connected with spirit very divine and very nurturing you know what i mean and they see that they see you're very self-sufficient within yourself and they do like that about you and it's like they want to step towards you with this page of swords and i'm hearing if you're not in contact with them you will hear from them first of all i'm seeing sagittarius so i don't know whether that you'll hear from them in sagittarius season or you will hear from them when the moon's in sagittarius i'm actually hearing or there's something to do with sagittarius but then i've also been shown three months uh three so it could be like the number three so march um or it could be like within the next three months from when you've watched this reading you know what i mean it could be that if you haven't heard from them because they want to step towards you and they do think about it but it's like I feel like sometimes maybe in the past they may have like gone to more shallow connections because it was just safer than having to actually step up. Some people do that, you know what I mean? They'll jeopardize, jeopardize having to actually step, step up to a connection and just go to what is 
easy for them at the time you know what i mean but easy doesn't bring satisfaction easy dies out and bores out and then they come running back to you you know what i mean like they you know they i think they're learning that um some of you guys you may have dealt with that where they've gone you haven't heard from them they've been in another relationship and then come back and because they just it just fell through you know what i mean like there's that energy coming through too so i don't know um whether that's happened or if this is a new connection then they're just having trouble stepping up but with the page of swords they really want to um so if you haven't heard from them you definitely will because they're thinking about you a lot and they miss your energy is what i'm being told and um i feel like you bring them some sense of comfort within themselves um you have a very soothing energy i'm hearing you have a very soothing voice a very healing voice um and you have a lot of like words of wisdom that they like hearing you speak i'm hearing um but they really do want to take action towards you um and make this connection real it's just having that physical energy to bring forward you know with emotional loss and wisdom i really do feel like if you guys aren't talking they're really feeling it like they're feeling it but what i'm really picking it up with the emotional loss is like they're scared of losing that's like their biggest fear of being vulnerable they take things very slow they have to be very sure because they're scared of losing something that petrifies them but the thing is is like we have to learn in life like nothing is ours nothing is physically ours like not even the physical bodies that we're in we have to give these up at one point to go into the higher realms like we're not even the earth that we're on it's not ours i know a lot of humans these days act like it is and they tear it apart but it isn't you know what i mean nothing is ours so we can't get attached and worry about the fear of losing when at the end of the day we are all one you know what i mean so we can't really lose anything you know so there's that energy here like i said they're more in the physical you know they see loss as an actual separateness you know and in the higher vibration we know that that's not what it is um and i wouldn't say higher vibration because i don't like when people say oh i'm in a higher vibration sometimes it sounds a bit like you're above that's not what it is it's just um with a better understanding of what energy is you know that there is no loss that's what i maybe should start saying so i don't offend anyone um but then we have guilt i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth i feel like sometimes they may have not acted the best towards you and i feel like if they have done you wrong in whatever way they do feel that guilt they never mean to hurt you um sorry guys i just saw like a head <laughs> i just saw a head by my um stairs i have stairs going up and i just jumped um yeah it's fine i just saw like a thing i still get freaked out when i see stuff with the corner of my eye i'm just like can you leave can you leave you know what i mean like i just feel oh um i'm just energetically asking them to leave okay so yeah i really do feel like they feel quite guilty they feel quite um if they've done you wrong in whatever way they do they didn't want to they didn't mean to you know they really didn't mean to and i do feel like they think about it you know there's an energy where they look back at this connection and they're like why why didn't i just take the initiative and jump towards it why didn't i do that why didn't i do that you know but i really do feel as time goes on they're growing up and they're learning within themselves you know what i mean they're growing up they're learning within themselves they're um let me just blame my florida water guys because i just asked this energy to leave and it's like not going i know i'll forget to add it to you so sorry guys can you please turn this room really light and light please remove any unwanted energies from my aura let me open this window i'm only saying it Ugh only saying it out loud guys because i know i forgot to add it and i don't want you guys to be like why is she gone silent <laughs> you know what i mean um but with the scorpio energy as well they feel what i will say because i was being shown the sacral chakra when i was shuffling like i was feeling that they do feel very sexually drawn to you and with a scorpio card as well like they really do have really deep intimate sensual energies like feelings towards you and they feel like a really i feel like this person has a lot of deep emotions that they don't even show they may come across on a surface level to not um have them but they do you know they do but with the your 
love yourself first and retreat there's just this energy of i feel like you guys may not be in communication right now that's what i'm hearing and i feel like there may have been times in the past where you talk them dipping out and not giving a lot of their energy as something that was wrong with you i'm here to say that it was not you know what i mean it was not um and I feel like if you are in separation right now, it's happening for you to look inward and love yourself and put yourself first. You know what I mean? And I feel like this person needs to know what will happen. Like, it's almost like they need to learn what will happen if they keep holding back. You know what I mean? They need to learn that. So then may with the retreat card, I feel like they're, especially with the three of swords at the back of the deck as well. Like, I do feel like they're, holding back at the moment or just feeling a very um there's a four swords energy in regards to this connection fully like they feel very um there's a like there's a boulder like that's what spirit showed me like there's a boulder they can't make the connection come to a fruition so there's some sort of stagnation but i see them coming towards you again so i'm gonna pull some more cards guys the ones i created and we're gonna see a little bit more what's going on with this person so tap me into pile number four's person how are they currently feeling <laughs> yeah okay i'll be back yeah i was right i do see them coming back i'll be back if they if they've left they're coming back um if the connection's a little bit stagnant they intend in making it um they intend in making it i'm feeling like really strong energy in this room i don't know whether it's one of you guys a spirit guide or something yeah, we have fantasy. This person thinks about you a lot. This person thinks about you a lot. Um, they daydream about what could be, what could have happened. You know what I mean? Like, there's that type of energy here. Pile number four. I want you to reach out. Yeah, if you guys aren't in communication, they want you to reach out. But personally, you know, listen to your intuition. Do what you need to do at the end of the day. But I'm really picking up this energy. Like, you need to you need to let them come to you you know there's like a really strong energy that's like i can feel it clairsentiently i didn't appreciate you yeah i just feel like this person knows what you have to offer and it's like they could step up to the plate and give it but they're not and it's like they know that that's wrong you know what i mean they're not doing it in a malicious way um and they know that it's wrong and they want to be able to give that to you but it's like they're scared to do that you know and with sex as well i do feel like they are sexually drawn to you i said that like i felt there's like sensual energies i could see the sacral chakra yeah insecure this person's insecure within themselves and how to it's almost like they just don't know how to step towards the connection yeah we have i'm scared you've moved on and then we have i need to clear my head so this person worries that you'll find someone else um really worries that you'll find somebody else they don't want you to be with anybody else and with i need to clear my head if i'm not speaking to you right now they're wondering what to do with the situation they're trying to work on themselves to big themselves up to step forward to this connection yeah we have i'm not ready this person's like it's funny because yeah okay this person has insecurities but I, I feel like it wouldn't take long for them to be ready but it's more they're pausing it and stopping it because they're not actually doing the work yeah you know what i mean pile number four pile number four i'm sorry yeah this you may get an apology from this person yeah scared to open up they're scared to really process and put out their true feelings there and i really do feel like they they want this deep connection with you they want you to know how they feel but there's just this energy of like they need to mature you know what i mean that's the energy that's coming through um but you will hear from them i really do feel that like you're hearing them and they're highlighting march now they're highlighting march so that's all i have for you guys today i really hope that you enjoyed um i'm sending you guys lots of love um comment down below if it did if it did resonate and um hit the thumbs up if it did i'm sending you guys lots of love and i will see you guys hopefully in my next reading so thank you guys for watching